Hi, and welcome to the Velvet Capital V2 demo. Velvet Capital is a DeFi asset management operating system bringing asset management for investors completely on chain. Today, I will guide you through the process of creating and managing your own tokenized vault. First, when we open the app, we need to connect our wallet. Velvet Capital is integrated with many wallet providers, including MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, Binance Wallet, Wallet Connect, and Magic, which will help you create a new wallet if you do not have one already. Once your wallet is connected, you'll be taken to the dashboard page where you can view all the funds you've created or are invested in, as well as see the P&L and fees earned through each fund. Today, I will show you how to create your own fund. To do this, simply press Create New Vault at the top of the page, then enter your fund's name. I will call this Demo Fund. Your creator name, which I will use Mike, and the ticker symbol, which I will call DFD. Next, you can also insert an image to the fund if you'd like to customize it even further. I'll be adding our Velvet Dow logo. We can also add a strategy description for the fund, which people will see when they view the fund on the fund's marketplace, which will help them know whether or not your fund is a fit for their investment portfolio. For this fund, we will set the strategy description to a long only discretionary fund. Next, we will set the investment range for this fund from 5 USDT to 10,000 USDT. The next thing to do is to find your fund's accessibility. If you want to restrict access to the fund, we have a whitelist functionality that will allow only whitelisted users to interact with the fund on a contract level. So you can only accept clients who go through KYC or any other onboarding procedure you want. All you have to do is enter the wallets which you want whitelisted here. Next, we'll set the fund's token transferability. This could be open to all, restricted to whitelisted wallets only, or completely non-transferable, and will apply to the token following the fund's creation. The next option allows you to have the fund open to all digital assets, or you can restrict it to only specific tokens and work as an on-chain investment mandate. For example, you could have your fund only allow stable coins, layer ones, blue chip assets, or any other categorization you choose. For this fund, we will allow any token on Velvet Capital to be traded. Now it's time to learn how you can earn on Velvet Capital through your fee options. On Velvet, you can charge management fees, performance fees, and entry and exit fees. For this portfolio, we will have a 2% management fee based on the AUM, a 20% performance fee based on profit, and a half percent entry and exit fee. Then we will set our wallet for fee collection and press next and deploy the fund. After we deploy the fund, we can now create the vault structure by choosing the assets which we want in the fund. We have two different ways of choosing the assets in your fund. The first being the basic option where you simply click the assets you'd like to add in the fund in our drop down menu. The second option is the advanced option where you can view every asset in Velvet Capital, the APY, and the protocol which they come from. On Velvet Capital, we have a wide array of spot assets, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Matic, and many more. And you can also earn yield as a liquidity provider to DEXs like BuySwap or lending through Venus Protocol or Alpaca Finance. For this portfolio, we will choose Bitcoin, Filecoin, Venus Ethereum, which earns 1.94% APY, Alpaca USDT, which earns 2.81% APY, in the buy swap ETH USDT pair. We will be making this an equally weighted portfolio and give each of the five assets a 20% weighting in this portfolio as well. And we'll press submit and confirm the transaction in our wallet. Now we have to make the first deposit into our fund. We'll deposit 0.05 BNB into this fund DFD. 
And we can also choose our preferred router for this transaction, either PancakeSwap or OX Aggregator. We will choose OX Aggregator and then set the maximum slippage and liquidity pool price impact as well, which we will keep set at 100 basis points. We can also make the fund public or if we want on our fund marketplace, which you would need a Founders Club NFT or a minimum deposit of 100 BNB, or you can keep the fund private, which there is no minimum requirement. And then we will press deposit and confirm the transaction in our wallet. Once the transaction is finished, you will see a green check mark pop up on the screen saying success. And we can make this token visible in our wallet by pressing add token to wallet. And you will see now that the token DFD now shows up in my wallet and I have 10.74 of the token. You can also view the transaction on BSC scan where you can view all the token transfers and see the creation of your fund at the bottom. Now we can press done and go back to the vault page where we'll see our demo fund is now available in your vaults. And as you can see, we have about 20% in Alpaca USDT, Venus Ethereum, Bitcoin, the BuySwap ETH USDT pair, and Filecoin as well. Now to manage the fund, we will press manage in the top right. From there, we have two options, smart management and trade. First, we'll use the smart management option. And then we will take out the assets we want to sell by pressing the X and then add in the assets by pressing add assets and then either using the basic or the advanced option. For this portfolio, we will add in XRP, the ApeSwap USDT USDC pair and Venus Doge. We will give Venus Ethereum a 40% allocation, Alpaca USDT a 10% allocation, XRP a 20% allocation, ApeSwap USDT USDC pair a 20% allocation and Venus Doge a 10% allocation. Then we will choose our router, OX or PancakeSwap. Since we used OX before, we'll use PancakeSwap for this transaction. Press submit. Then we can see the before and after allocations and set the slippage and liquidity pool price impacts, which we will keep at 200 basis points. Then press submit again and confirm in our wallet. And then when we go back to the vault page, the fund has the new allocation of assets that we just set. Next, I'll show the trade module. To do this, we press manage, then trade, and then select the asset we want to sell. We'll sell off 50% of our XRP allocation and then buy Phantom. Then we'll select the router for this transaction, in this case, either OX or 1inch. We can view the gas fees and the amount of tokens we'll receive using each of these protocols as well. I'll select OX because of the low gas fees. Then we'll press primary swap and confirm the transaction in our wallet. Now we go back to the fund page, we'll see that half the XRP is now an FTM. We can also see the transaction on BSC scan by going to our wallet and then copying the transaction ID and entering it into BSC scan. And as you can see here, we converted half of our XRP into FTM completely on chain. Another cool feature on Velvet Capital is the community marketplace where you can explore other funds that have been created and invest into them. To do this, click the Marketplace tab on the top of the app. From here, you can view all the funds that are publicly available on Velvet Capital and deposit into them. Other users can also see your public fund through the Marketplace and deposit into them as well. And this is where you make the money through the fees. We allow users to view the funds based on date added, TVL, or performance. As an asset manager on Velvet, the higher performance and higher TVL you achieve, the more value will accrue to your fund over time as more users are likely to join in on your fund 
as we'll be promoting the funds that do well in our community marketplace through marketing efforts as well. Thank you for watching the Velvet Capital V2 demo, and we are excited to have you joining us in our goal to bring asset management fully on chain.